Oh my god, you know what, I don't know how long I've been a board member, but I've been um, involved for about 10 years, and Elizabeth Stewart and I host, or we, we host, we've created this event called The Bag Lunch, where we sell really expensive designer bags to rich ladies, and it all goes to PS Arts. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, it, it's, it's serving, um, it's putting arts education into like these underserved communities. So it's over 30 schools, or about 30 schools, and over, what is it, 12,000 kids are, are, are taught the arts every week. And it's really incredible because I think if you don't have an open mind, you're basically a butthole. <laughs> and I think arts kind of give you the opportunity to expand your mind and open your horizons. Um, so you're not a closed-minded fool. <laughs> That's well put in, in many words. Um why, what role did arts education play in your life personally? Why did you want to do that? Well, I just always loved my, you know, I don't think I can remember really any of my, any of my teacher's names except my art teacher, Mrs. Bruce. I mean, seriously, I don't know any of their, their names. And she was just incredible, very nurturing. And, um, you know, you can't go wrong in arts, you know, in arts class. You can kind of do whatever the hell you want. And any, anything you do is magnificent and fantastic, which I think is really important just to encourage, you know, positive thinking in children. Because, you know, not everyone can do algebra and history in English <laughs> but I think it still like helps in those areas so